in the time of a real crisis, living abundantly on another planet will be more of a need than an exploration. After the Earth, Mars is the most habitable planet in our solar system. Since shipping food to Mars would cost billions of dollars, growing food on the planet is the answer. Urban farming on Mars is the key to thrive and not just survive. But, where would we build a farm on Mars? The best location is, Jezero Crater, nearby the landing site of NASA's Perseverance rover. As the scientists firmly believe, the area was once flooded with water, and was home to an ancient river delta. The Mars Spine The farm structural pattern, is inspired by the lily pad iconic form, that reflects a robust functional Voronoi structure. Lily pads are broad, rounded, shield-shaped leaves. They grow in rosettes from submerged rhizomes, on long, flexible stalks that reach upward to the surface of the water. similar to the lily pad midrib, which connects the secondary ribs network. The farm structure, is split into two main sections, connected by a linear spine, serving as a distribution point, for above ground and underground parts of the farm. As well as the main corridor of the farm's spaces and external access, through three pressurized airlocks. The network of ribs in a lily pad represents, the closed loop system of the farm structure, in situ resource utilization of Mars regolith, oxygen production, out of the Martian atmosphere, power generation, out of solar panels arrays and water extraction. The farm external pad is provided with a solar panel system, to generate energy out of the sunlight. The Voronoi structure of the farm envelope, is provided with Himawari system, of a fiber optic system, that uses tracking fresnel lenses, to capture sunlight, and deliver it to the plants through the facade hollow deep panels. The farm underground foundation structure is also provided with, shock absorbers to keep the structure stable in case of a heavy Mars quake seismic waves. The thick Voronoi structure of the farm envelope, is 3D printed, using the Martian regolith supported with, a prefabricated carbon nanotubes. External envelopes of the farm structures are finished with PTFE, which has low friction, non-reactivity and easily formable to create the farm organic shape. Fiberglass fabric is waterproof, resistant to UV rays, corrosive chemicals, and extreme temperatures for both hot and cold. The eye, is the astronaut's recreational area, it is provided with a virtual reality platform, an area for the astronauts where they can spend their leisure time, in the same way they would on Earth, while observing the Martian horizon. The eye, is a lit weather tight glass enclosure, to support their mental health, and cognitive functioning during their mission. The self-sustaining food supply systems. There are three different agricultural systems. 1. Pads Array 2. Aquaponics 3. Hydroponic They are designed to grow a variety of food menus in closed loop systems. But because of Mars's extremely cold conditions, plants would need to grow inside a controlled underground environment, with LED lights, for the photosynthesis process. Pads array, with seeds brought from Earth, utilization of a filtered Martian soil has some of the nutrients plants need to grow and survive. Aquaponics, a closed-loop system as a symbiotic relationship between the plant and the fish, 
It is a self-contained system to provide protein and vegetation as the fish provide nitrogen and phosphate for the plants, while the plants provide beneficial bacteria to convert ammonia. Hydroponic greenhouse, a closed-loop system of growing plants without the use of soil, buried and protected by the farm Voronoi structure. The urban farm, is designed for this extreme environment, that can sustain the long-term needs of the inhabitants. In a food supply system, that works in a full circle. This is just one step, out of many more towards the colonization of Mars.